One of the cardinal rules of journalism is report the story. Don't become part of it. But after surviving the Mike's Place suicide bombing, that rule was meant to be broken. The Tel Aviv Promenade was once again the scene of blood and ruins as a suicide bomber blew himself up at Mike's Place. Jack Baxter was badly wounded in the attack and is still in hospital. Josh Fowden was in the middle of shooting a documentary film about the pub at the time of the blast. Do you want to make a statement? Well, it's in the last sermon of the Prophet Muhammad. We've been on this thing for 14 years. I want to know how people become radicalized. Yeah. We're going to go out with this documentary to find out what is going on among refugees, the whole refugee situation. We're headed to England, and we're going to meet with the families of the two guys who tried to take us out. You're just going to show up at their door? To be honest with you, I don't even think they'll want to meet us. Why would they? What if we hire a private investigator? I'm not on the same page. I'm not. He thinks we're totally out of our mind. <laughs> hey, the Taliban don't play music, you know what I'm saying? I play piano and pray in the mosque, but I am not terrorist. I know Islam, and I know Beethoven. They really believe they're doing what God wants them to do. You got to watch your ass. This is red alert. They almost kill you, and you, ha, 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 ha. How is that possible? There was a terrorist attack in England last night. Oh, my God. This cannot keep going. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said in his last sermon, all of the practices done in the days of ignorance are now under my feet. We're gonna drop a pebble in the pond and see what happens.